All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the last cold start in the LS Hellcat. So, we're gonna go drive around real quick one last time, but without further ado, let's get this cold start going. Chasers, what's up, Ranch Gang? It's your boy Kevin Van Voorst checking in for another video for you today. Today is the last cold start with the LS Hellcat. Yes, the LS swapped Hellcat. If you know, you know. So, anyways, before we get into today's video, sorry, the camera's shaking. The car is shaking, dog, because of the cam. Anyways, DJ, please, one last time. Maybe we'll do one more video, but please hit that intro show these people the best intro on YouTube. Supercharged, 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 supercharged. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the eight second Charger Hellcat, full interior, on bags. If you don't believe me, there you go. We are on bags, so shout out to Airlift Performance for making the best bags out there. So, if you guys are new to the channel, maybe just click this video. If you guys want to know the engine setup, you need to check out 918 Hemi Performance, and they'll get you hooked up. So, is this LS swapped Hellcat? Obviously, no. If you clicked on the link, like, oh my god, it's clickbait. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> so, but... This is one of the nastiest sounding Hellcats on the market, and I just sold it finally. After a month of dealing with California and their stupid ass rules and all this other bullshit, this car is finally headed to California. So all my California homies and peeps, you guys are gonna be seeing this car soon. Um, I know he's got some plans for it. I'm very excited about it. He's obviously still gonna use Z as his tuner because all his boys, I'm pretty sure, use uh, Z as well. So shout out to Eric out there in California. And Ruben also. Um, so I'm gonna give him my laptop. I'm gonna give him the HP tuner, which is right here. So if you guys need to tune your Hellcat, I highly recommend HP tuner over um, Diablo Sport. I think it just works much, much better. And you have much more play. And everybody who goes fast uses HP tuner. So that's what I would do. If you guys are looking for a uh, tuner, hit up ZH Tunes. So I'm gonna miss this car very much. I had a lot of fun. I did what I wanted to do. I've had this car for five years. So this next week, uh, I've had it for five years. It's almost five years. So it's gonna be sad that it's going away, but we did a lot of things in this car. We made a ton of videos, but I am super excited to show you guys what is coming next to the channel. Finally, finally, I'm super excited. So let's go drive this around one last time. Let's give it a little rev. <laughs> Yes! Oh, he's gonna really love this car. So, um, anyways, let's, let's get to it. So, here's how you know if you have a good tuner. I have no lights on the dash. None. Zero. And for everybody wondering, yes, a half a tank, I get 47 miles. So, and if you don't believe me that this car runs eight seconds, let me show you. So we'll go to performance. So, best eighth mile, five seven. Uh, where are we at? Hold on, go back. Quarter mile, eight, nine. And this is on the Dodge thing. So, let's see what other numbers we got. So, zero to 60 and one seven. 
Top speed 202, that's just from the dyno at some point, I'm sure. So, anyways, let's go drive this bad boy around. So, anybody who has a fix-up Hellcat, you always want to drive around with your performance pages on. And the cool thing is, so this is our nitrous kit down here. Mine is not hooked up, but what's cool is the boys at 918 Hemi Performance, so Scott did this. So, I turn this button on, and then all of my AC gets routed to my supercharger, and I'll show you guys how this works. So we turn this on. So now that now this is on, and then you're gonna see my intercooler and my intake air temperatures start to drop as soon as this starts turning on. So air just started coming out, and you'll see this thing start to drop. It's pretty cool. So as you guys can see, look at this. It's gonna drop like crazy. So we're at 80 something, we're at 70, 71. Watch, as soon as I start driving, it's gonna drop low. This is awesome. So if you guys are into drag racing, I highly recommend the inner chiller. Um, I did not install it myself for obvious reasons. <laughs> so Scott at 918 ME Performance did. But as you guys can see, 66 degrees. We just started at 64. And it's, watch, you're gonna see how low this gets. 59. So what's great about this, if you keep your intercooler temps low, your IATs are gonna be low, which means, your car is going to get colder air even on a hot day, which means you're going to go faster. So look at that. We've been driving for less than a minute. 50 degrees. So we already cut our temps in, in 30 degrees so far. So we're just going to drive the gas station. So that's what's super awesome about this. And this will keep going lower and lower and lower. So 48. So it has a stock pulley on it right now. Uh, it's got the supercharger that's unported, so he can do whatever he wants to this. So there's a brand new supercharger on it. Um, and then, you know, if I was him, I'd put the 2.5 on it when he's racing. And then if you want to drive this bad boy around, just put the normal pulley back on. So we're at 42 degrees. Look at that, 42 degrees. Are you kidding me? How awesome is that? I'll give you guys like a, a small pull. You know, this isn't my car anymore, so I don't want to, you know, break anything, but I'll give you guys a small. <laughs> oh, that was like quarter throttle. Oh, God, this car is stupid. Woo! Now to get your balls going. Mm. All right, so before I turn this thing off, 37 degrees. So we cut 50 degrees in less than a couple minutes. So just imagine if you're at the racetrack, this is something I highly recommend if you are on a blower setup, whether you have a Whipple, an OEM blower, you have a Mustang, whatever you have, get an interchiller of some type. This will save you. It'll make sure your times are as consistent as they can be. Okay, one more, one more, one more. after this stop sign you know we're driving a boat you can't be like going around corners and shit these cars are not meant to turn these cars are meant to go straight <laughs> all right let's see <laughs> oh this car is stupid this car really is dumb I love driving this car because it doesn't matter how long I've had the wrap on, which it's going on four years, I think, three and a half, four years. Uh, everybody always looks at this thing. This thing is wild to look at. And if you know the car, you're like, oof, don't want to fuck with that car. So um, as far as why am I selling it, I'll make a separate video on it before I go pick up the new car, which hopefully will be this weekend. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. I got a couple of videos I got to drop first um but anyways i love this car the new owner is going to enjoy it again let's turn this stupid this car is dumb this car defies physics so um but again anybody who's interested in getting an inner inner chiller for your car that man so they're the man they're legit so um, I use the inner chiller. It's a guy from Australia, Kirk, makes really good products. Um, 
But as far as the cam setup, I've got a custom cam on this. This is a 406 stroker motor with a custom cam, uh, stock ported heads. But I love this car. I gotta give huge shots to everybody who's been supportive of this build. FAS Motorsports, 908 Hemi Performance, Southern Hot Rods, ZH Tunes, all the companies that have been involved on this build. But it's time to move on, man. Time to move on. But I want to give you guys one last cold start, one last little drive on this car. Because if you guys have been an OG to the channel, maybe you're new to the channel, this is one of the fastest Hellcat chargers around. So it's not the fastest, obviously, because uh, that would be my tuner who's got the fastest Hellcat charger. But um, I'm excited for the new owner to push this car to the limits that I never attempted to. So it's going to be very exciting stuff. So on that note... Just looked at me like, the fuck was that, man? So, anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. We might do one more video when this like gets on the trailer and leaves, uh, which we're trying to set up shipping right now. But if you guys live in California, keep an eye out for the bagged cat because it is coming to California. So, and I will let you guys know who the new owner is as soon as the car is picked up. Everything finances wise has been settled. But once he, uh, once the car actually gets picked up and shipped, I'll make one more video and I'll release who bought it. That way you guys can make sure you follow him on Instagram and all the good stuff. And then uh, I guess I'll show you guys the new car. I'm hoping that I can get the new car here before this one ships out, because that would be pretty cool. Kind of like a homage, like this one's leaving and the new one's coming type of deal. But we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Make sure you guys follow me at Kelly Boy Kev on Instagram, not Snapchat. I'm out this bitch.